Hi guys. Okay, so you've been asking what my office looks like. Okay, so I thought I'd show you around and, uh, uh, and what I get up to here in the building. Okay, so first of all, I've got to spin the camera around. Okay, so artwork, very important to what we do. Um, this is some. This is a piece of artwork, concept artwork from Cody Malone, uh, which is a movie, animated movie we're doing. Um, and that's with Mark Foligno, who's the exec producer on the King's Speech and Moon. And you'll see a little clip of that in a minute, a little interview. Uh, here's a prop piece from the film that we're going to be doing with Richard Stanley. And that's called Beyond the Mountain, which is set in Afghan, which is going to be very, very cool. So we've always got like bits and pieces laying around for research material and stuff. And then we have like mood board stuff uh, on the back there, artwork that we've had done kind of cool and these are scenes from the film uh, which is quite nice there you go you're getting a sneaky look before anybody else does this is my wall of doom this is basically where we concept everything we have mood boards on here um, we look at actors that we like on the top uh, then we we look at haircuts and all that sort of stuff all visuals that really help us um, understand where we want to go with the animation and influences that are out there uh, and then we have some of the artwork as you can see some of the character stuff it's very very exciting here's my desk uh, so I have one giant monitor um, <clears throat> and I have my laptop and then that's my hard drive look at that you get to see all the exciting things um, so this the reason why I've got this on my on my screen you might know this from the 40k book uh, wall book lovely piece of artwork but I'm going to be building that bridge uh, that bridge section or basing a bridge on this bridge section so it'll be about six foot long by about three to four foot wide uh, probably three foot wide uh, for the gaming table for the siege of terror uh, then you've got your normal stuff like water protein a surprise I went online which is pretty cool this is the coolest thing on my desk. It's a cat pencil sharpener. So you stick your pencil in its ass and sharpen it, which is really cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna disappear now and leave you with a couple of videos and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. The Daily Orbit presents the people behind Captain Cody Malone. Okay, so what's Captain Cody Malone all about? Well, if I was to describe Cody Malone in three words, it would be action, romance, and adventure. It's got rocket ships in it, it's got flying saucers, it's got Martian men, and there's only one person that can save them from utter destruction, and that's Captain Cody Malone. I've got to say, it's an exciting project to work on. It's uh, one of those projects that you've always wanted to do ever since you were a kid. Uh, if you were a fan of the old Flash Gordon, the Rocketeer, and all those great serial TV episodes, including even Batman, the original uh, 60s Batman, and then you're going to like Cody Malone. Why animation? Okay, well, uh, well, we decided Cody Malone would be an animation um, because it just suited the nature of the script. You know, you look at people like Studio Ghibli, you look at Pixar, you look at Walt Disney, uh, and all the other great animation houses around the world. For me, it was a chance to work on a sci-fi classic, and take in elements and influence from all around the world, such as Chinese and Japanese animation houses, and try to create something that was really exciting to watch. Martian or Galaxy Ranger. At the end of the day, uh, I love the Martians in this project. They're absolutely fantastic. I think uh, everyone likes to be a hero, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, Martians on this one. <laughs> Of Sarah Connors, I'll be back.